the table that we are doing today is really about news which were in Debka, as they bring really sources from, from quite a few places. Now what we see, this what was uh, adding in Debka, enough enriched uranium in Iran for four nuclear weapons. So this was uh, heading Debka, and let us see table about it, which we did really quite a while ago, but let us see some more details in it today. So what you see is the following. So the first thing you see here, in fact it is minimal in the Torah, the word uranium, and best meeting of the Torah of atoms, and then the uranium and atom bomb goes together. Now looking more into this table, really it is in quite few verses, by the way, which itself makes it significant. You can see it is in one book, which is a third one, the Bitticus, and you have it really few verses. One chapter all appear in one chapter, which you see here. And the interesting thing is that it comes really in few verses also. It starts from here, Lamed Gimel goes only, up till the beginning really of the second chapter. So it is quite, as we said, significant table to be in so few verses, so many words. So again, uranium, minimum, the Torah, atom, best meeting, and then Iran, and interesting coming is those people who are really behind all these is which are Khamani, you see Khamani and Ruchani, yeah. And then you see what we always we know quite well, the Torah tells us all over that these kind of nations, people like Bilam, Balak, who wanted to destroy Israel belong to Amalek, the Amalekites. So you have Amalek also. So again, interesting table, very significant, it's a small place and minimal. Iranian atom, Iran, and as we said, like we have Balak and Bilam, it's written that both of them represent the Amalekites next to them. Also, we have Ruchani and Khamani, Khamani more the spiritual, like Bilam and Ruchani, like Balak, who is practically he wants to destroy Israel. So important table, very interesting. Yes, this is what we saw in this Debka saying that really, according to quite few sources, the evil of the uranium enough for four nuclear bombs. So the only solution is, as we say always, what the Torah tells us, to do tshuva.